This uh, video is designed to let you have a look at ways of breaking away from assaults. Uh, the, the instance of assaults and staff are increasing, so with the help of Nicola, we're going to demonstrate some breakaway techniques for you. So, first thing we're going to look at is defensive stance. Okay. So, remember, protect your face and brace yourself. Okay. Okay, so if you just want to demonstrate that for me. Okay, and from the side. So, if I was to attack you, mm -hmm. You're coming towards me, so you're aiming for my chest, I'm coming towards you, so it's the centre of the chest, step forward and push. So defensive stance, protect your face, and I'm coming towards you to attack you, aim for the centre of my chest, step forward and push me away. So blitz attack, I'm coming at you, I'm going to hit you, that's it, push out the road, just make sure your head's protected. Okay, blitz attack, coming towards you, protect yourself, push out the oh, aye, push out the road. <laughs> so gonna punch you, block and push. Gonna punch you, block, push. So gonna punch, so it's block and push. Punching, block, push. So for wrist grabs, I've gripped the wrist, so you want to brace the wrist, rotate, brace my wrist, rotate your wrist, and then just pull down. So for a single wrist grab, so I've grabbed your wrist, what you want to do is brace my wrist and rotate your wrist and just pull down. And you'll get out of it. Okay, so I grip your wrist, brace it, and then rotate and pull down. So, um, double wrist grab this time. So, both wrists, and it's just rotate and pull down. Okay, and even step back a wee bit if you want, just to, so double wrist grab, that's it. Okay, so for a double wrist grab, all you want to do is rotate to get the narrowest part of your wrist at the fingers and step and pull back. Double wrist grab, uh, what you want to do is take your free hand and put it on the, the wrist nearest to your elbow. Rotate slightly and brace my other arm with your uh, forearm and then just pull down. So double wrist grab, what you want to do is take your free arm over onto the uppermost of my wrists, rotate slightly and brace my lower arm with your forearm and then pull down. Okay, so attack's failing, got you pinned to the wall, that's it, and then push. Coming in, attack's failing, you're pinned to the wall, adopt the position, and then push. So it's either hair or hood. Right, you can okay. grab your, mm -hmm. your hood or your collar. So what you want to do is, so they've grabbed your hair, mm -hmm. what you want to do is put both hands clamped hard just above my wrist. That's it. Then what you would do is you would sharply, please don't do that just now, you would sharply bend forward at the waist and move towards me at the same time. Right, and if you okay. do it slowly, what that does is that takes my wrist beyond its natural yeah, position. Okay. And at that point, it's, I'm trying to let go because I know things are going wrong. Yeah. And you keep walking towards me, okay? Right, okay. Or, or running towards me. Right, okay. Ideally, you can go forward faster than I can go backwards. So ideally, I'm going to fall and you yeah. just run over the top of me and get away. Okay. But as soon as you feel me starting to go, let go or it'll pull you down. Right, okay. Okay. So, grabbing your hair down and just go fast. Right. Yeah, just run. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, grab your hair. That's it. Yeah, and immediately I start to feel off balance. Yeah, and then you're okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. From behind, mm -hmm. somebody comes up from behind and pulls your hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All you're going to do is reverse into them as quickly as possible. Yeah, and right. just push them back off a of balance. Right, okay. Because what they're expecting is if somebody pulls your hair, you, you automatically you you try and pull away. Right. So you just immediately you reverse. Yeah. Right, okay. So if you go a wee bit further forward, that's it. So grab your hair from behind, so it's just straight back. <laughs> and that's that's what happens. You tangle their feet and they go yeah. down. Yeah. Right. So that's you away. Right, okay. Because the minute I start to feel my balance going, I'm instinctively going to let go yeah. to, to save uh -huh. myself. So grabbing the hair from behind, immediately reverse into the person and just push them off balance. Okay, as soon as they feel the balance going, they will let go. Right. So, clothing grab. Um, you're either going to get a single grab with a grab and it's, it's a punch that mm -hmm. follows through. Mm -hmm. What you want to do is take the opposite hand over the top, grip the wrist, and then twist. Mm -hmm. And you see what happens. Right, okay. But the, the, if you do it slowly, okay, so I've got the shot, so you pull, and as I go over, see what's happening to me? Yeah. So my yeah. balance is going as well. Mm -hmm. And you can use that hand to give me a wee shove just to encourage me. Right, okay. Yeah. yeah. If my hand gets caught and I can't let you know it's caught mm -hmm. up in your clothing, I'll break my fingers, but that's not yeah. your issue. No. So single clothing grab, I grab your shirt, you grab my wrist, twist and push. Grab your shirt, so twist my wrist and give me a shove. Clothing grab, grab the wrist, twist and push. So double handed grab, protect your face, twist and shove. Double handed grab, protect your face, twist and shove. Oh, that nearly got me that one. <laughs> so double handed grab, protect your face, twist and shove. So grab, twist and shove. Choke holds from the front, so they've gone for your mm -hmm. throat, okay? What you can do is, because this is now classed as attempted murder oh, or serious it? assault, you can right? ramp up the amount of um, necessary force mm -hmm. used, right, okay. okay? So what you're going to do is, if you grip me by the throat, I'll demonstrate mm -hmm. what I'm going to do. Bring my arms up as quick as I can, right. let them come all the way out mm -hmm. and slap you in the ears. Oh, right. It'll, it'll right, okay. very probably stun you but it may well bust their eardrums. Right, but either okay. way, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because they've, right, okay. They're, they're going to be stopped mm -hmm. and you're away. Right, okay. Okay. So, gone for your throat, up, out, bang. Right. Okay. Nice gone for your throat, up, out, slap. So, gone for your throat, and you see what happened to my arms there yeah, automatically. Uh -huh. I was thrown back thrown out the road. From behind, so it's usually not the patient, it's a bystander or a relative, mm -hmm. and they come up and they get you around the throat. Where's the one place that you're going to be safe? They can't physically close your airway. I don't know. Head in towards mm -hmm. the crook of the elbow. Oh, because I can't f physically choke you. Right. And if you can, get your chin tucked down as well. Yeah? Right, okay. Then take your opposite arm, uh, mm -hmm. that one, mm -hmm. over the wrist as you would normally. And take the other one, try and get it underneath, flat, palm, palm out, that's it, and then twist. Bring the arm out, and again, it's attempted murder. Mm -hmm. So at that point, pull down in the arm at the same time as you've got your tiptoes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And what you want to do is try and get the elbow right on your shoulder. Because right. you, okay. you want to dislocate or yeah. break their elbow. Right. Okay, so somebody's coming from behind. So the first thing you want to do is get your chin down and turn your head in towards the crook of their elbow so that they can't choke you. And then... Grip the wrist as you normally would, and take the other hand underneath it, and then twist, straighten, pull the arm over the shoulder, and then pull down, and that will either strain or dislocate their elbow, and it will stop them coming after you. So, coming around, they're choking you, protect your airway, under the arm, pull, ow. <laughs> if you can't break the hold, uh -huh. okay, you've got somebody that's uh, absolutely huge. Remember, keep your head in. Mm -hmm. Okay, you've got your. You've tried to break the hold, so you've got your normal grip mm -hmm. as, you, as you would have, and you've discovered that this hand under and there's no way you're going to break that. Then take this hand 
and reach round and have a fumble at the person's groin. Their natural reaction is to do that, then, uh -huh. which breaks the hold and allows you to right, okay. continue the move. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't matter if it's male or female; they will instinctively so try and break that hold. Right. Okay. Okay. So, so they come in. There's no way you're going to break the hold. You've tried everything. So reach round, have a wee fumble, and they will try and step back to protect themselves. That breaks the hold enough for you to continue through. Right. Okay, um, I hope that was of help to you. The, the, the video is designed as an aid memoir just to back up your training. So if there's any of the moves that you weren't sure of or you've forgotten, they're there to remind you. I hope it's been a help. Thanks for watching.